Hello and welcome to Project RPG and how to set up the scripts that I've uh, put out for sale on the store. So with further ado I'll get going. You might have to bear with me um, because I've renamed everything to make it easier for you but it's not necessarily going to make it easier for me because I'm used to the old names. But hopefully this will be okay. So first of all you're going to want to add an object or a few objects to the scene. Um, I'm just going to go with the city pack because I know I've got a nice deco on there. This evening. It can be anything, it doesn't matter what it is, I'm just going to have that. Just simply because it's nice and easy to see and really uh, low poly. Well, I've got it in, you can see it's a static object because it's red, so I want to go into the properties and change it to be not static. Um, also, I want to change the default Lua script to one of the ones I've done, um, which is now going to be, um, oh, it's still AI, so AI cache display somewhere. Where is it? Am I just blind? Oh, I've got all of them in still, so yeah. Cache display, open. Right, that's the script for that. That basically sets up most of the stuff ready, sort of. Not most of the stuff, but a lot of the stuff. So we'll apply that. Once that's ready, we can add what well, we just put my marker in, so we know where we are. And um, we're going to add another entity. Um, I'll go to medieval now, because we're done with the city pack stuff. Uh, Bump, if I can see it. Uh, and I'm just going to add a barrel, because it's nice and easy. It's already an active object. Um, so hmm, I'll put him there, and I'll do a, no, I'm not going to set up more than one merchant because it just takes time. So that's that's basically going to be the first part we need for the merchant. Let's just get a bit closer there so I can see what I'm doing. Go into properties. It's already active, so that's fine. Just need to change the script. In fact, you really you don't have to do this, but I would say yes because you don't want that being knocked around, it could cause all sorts of problems later on down the line. Uh, well, it will definitely cause problems. This is sort of a major object again. Um, so yeah, just make sure it's in mobile. You can leave physics on, of course. Um, and with this script, now all is active is fine now for that. So yeah, uh, just change the script. So for this one, it's still under AI, but we need Merchant setup. Ooh, ooh. That, mm, God. Arr, it's the trouble having loads of things. Merchant setup too here, but it, for you it's going to be merchant setup. Okay. Um, and that's it. Apply the changes. Let's add a character. Um, oh no. No one there. Now, I'll have the unarmed barbarian, quite like him for the merchant. Just rotate him a bit. To there. Set these properties up. And so we just want a merchant. Two. <laughs> for me. But for you, it's going to be AI merchant. I don't think I've copied the new scripts across yet. But I could have done. Right, um, oh, someone's added me to the friends list. That's good. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Right, that's distracted me. Uh, so I've set that script, is all set, and merchants, you do really want to set always active. Um, just because they'll start trying to walk away, if not a moment. Hopefully that will be fixed. But for now, if you're going to be moving away from your always arm, just make sure they're always active. And that will not happen. Okay, so I've set up a merchant. He's not selling a lot, so next thing is to put something for sale. Um, so I'll put it on top of this barrel for now, it's easy enough. Uh, we want weapons. And it doesn't really matter, I'll, I'll pick up that halberd. Stick that on there. Properties. It's already active. Change the script now to. Now this is totally different from it. Um, H 
H for quickness. Harbour of Vassal Medieval, they're all going to be like that. Every single difference. There's a nice Vassal Medieval there. Medieval Vassal Medieval. They're all the same. So that's the one you want. Open that. Um, apply doesn't really matter about any of the physics particularly with that. And you're away. So that's a merchant setup there. It's not particularly posh. Obviously you might want a few, put a few more barrels. You know, you can just like add another barrel for something there. So I'll just extract that. Place it down there so it doesn't get lost. Plunk that down. Make sure it's not, of course, using this script anymore. No, we don't want that. So I'll just delete all that. Ooh, I just put default up there. If I can type. Because <laughs> I'm not looking at what I'm doing. Right. And it doesn't have to be, obviously, active anymore. So I'll just make it static. And I'll put another weapon in. Nice, this time will do. Plunk him there. So I can see what I'm doing. Properties. Change that to mice. For sale, medieval. Apply. And we're away. That's the merchant setup. Now we want some AI as well. So I'll show you the AI. Um, first of all, I'm going to add a waypoint. I'm going to put it there. And I'm just going to hold shift there. And then I'm going to add another character. So medieval again. Um, love him. Rotate him there. Get to his properties. And change that script from fancy character to AI the civilian. There we go. Okay. Apply. And we'll set up a guard as well. Um, so I'll set up another waypoint. There we go. Just tap a few around. Not. There we go. That'll do. Add someone to be a guard. There we go. Properties. And um, you've guessed it. Okay, apply. And that should be set up. You should have a guard. We'll be walking that sort of little patrol route. Just a civilian who's going to be walking up and down there. And this merchant who's just going to be standing still, selling his wares. What few wares he's got. Uh, and this one here will be controlling a lot. So it, it, it sorts out a lot of variables all for this, so it is needed. This is really vital. You always have to put it first as well, so it reads that and then it won't throw an error for all these things. Um, but apart from that, that's that's great. You can pretty much put everything else down in any order you wish. I believe. Um, like I say, I've tested it, but I couldn't be 100% until lots of people test it, I assume. So, let's go for it. Right, we're in. Um, everything seems fine. He's walking, he's walking. Can't do anything to me. Merchant's there, shouting his wares. I can buy that. What you do? I can loot. loot him. He's coming for me. Quickly loot that. And yeah, oh, he's, he's, no, he's not coming for me. But will he come for me? I oh, know he's a, he's a runaway bloke. So if you hit him, he just runs off to me. Oh, and um, yeah, I'll pay the fine. Ah, that is one slight weirdness, but I can't work that out. Sometimes it freezes when you on freezing the play, and then it comes out. It suddenly appears somewhere else. But I can only assume that's a gang guru thing. Um, yeah, so that's it. I've pretty much got everything working there. First time, no problem. Let's go and give him a knock. Oh, always oh, got me. Okay. Rip it. And we're all white. So yeah. So that's it. That's pretty much it. I can't think of anything else. That's all the scripts that I'm putting out. There's a cash find one and stuff. It's fairly simple. Just add it to it. I'll just go on then. Why not? Um, back to medieval. Uh, 
anything will do really. Um, although I'm picky. Always use well, but stuff it. Um, I'll just use barrel one. I put that there. Oh god. I had to pick barrel one, didn't I? Okay, make sure it's active. Change the script. Two, 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 two. This may be different. I don't know if I put it out, but these are. This is maybe really much more. Fine cash. Put that in. Now, when you go to that, you should be able to search it and find some money in there. But it's, it's a default, but I'll chuck it in anyway. It was only for me playing around. Where is that? Hey, I've got some more money. Yeah, that's just a simple little thing. But it's in there, so I might as well include it there. Uh, right, I think that's about it. You should be able to set up your own merchant scripts in no time and have your towns full of people walking around. Look, so that one didn't attack me. I don't want to do attack this time. Get you. <coughs> run, run, run. Get away from wherever he is. Come on, will he attack me? It's random, so sometimes they attack me. Yeah, he's got this time. <coughs> You got me. Yeah, so sometimes they'll run or walk because they don't run yet. There's no animations for run. Which there was. If there's some run anim flee animations. Awesome. Could add that in. Get people fleeing in terror when you start swinging. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I hope that helped. And until next time, I'll catch you later.